Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Visual Manufacturing Planner, VMP. Many SAP customers still create their manufacturing bombs and routing instructions the old way, textually. There is a new, more exciting way to manage this information. This webinar will discuss how the SAP Visual Manufacturing Planner can leverage the rich engineering 3D data from your CAD designs by converting the CAD-specific assemblies into lightweight 3D visuals. These visual assemblies can then be virtually planned in VMP. The VMP will load these visuals, visuals into session and your manufacturing planners can then build the required manufacturing bombs and routings from those 3D lightweight models. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Looks good. Excellent. Well, thanks everybody again for, for attending our webinar today. It should be a fun one. Um, SAP Visual Manufacturing Planner is just one of really several applications of SAP Visual Enterprise. Um, so I'm just going to bring you through a brief you know, overview of Visual Enterprise and Visual Manufacturing Planner. And then I'm going to hand it over to our friend David Cramp, and he's going to actually show you the, the live stuff. So let's get right into it. So you know, over the past 40 years, you know, SAP has been, been known to do a pretty good job at, at managing all of the data needed to run your business. You now we focused most recently, though, on enabling our customers to make better use of this business data, you know, make it easier to consume, easier to understand, and ultimately make it easier to, to make decisions. Right, based on your data. So the incorporation of business analytics in our business analytics platform way back when was a good start. But then we invested in a visualization platform about five years ago, and that platform is Visual Enterprise. So when SAP launched Visual Enterprise, it wasn't just to get a new 3D viewer incorporated into our PLM solution. It was really and truly an effort to improve the methods with, with which our users leverage the master data, the business data that's woven into a variety of business processes to enable better decision making. Right? So incorporating graphics over just text and numbers makes it easier for, for we as humans to understand. I think we all we all get that. And so through the use of the virtual product or equipment or even a, a full facility in 3D. SAP Visual Enterprise is, is here to really just in, to enhance our customers' user experience across a variety of applications. All right, Dave. All right, can you hear me? I hear you. All right, good. I make sure my unmute button worked and show my screen. And can you see my screen? <coughs> Got it. All right. Hi everybody, this is Dave Cramp from LeverX and good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you're at. Uh, you know, as Ken said, you know, this is a, a real important tool in helping you manage, you know, your 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 capabilities of 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 linking this rich engineering data that you have and as as uh, Ken talked about, it it's everywhere in your in your design area. And it's how can you leverage, get that information out of engineering and use it in, uh, in, across the enterprise because there, there's so much information there and there's so many ways you can work with it. And once again, one of these ways is the Visual Manufacturing Planner. All right, let's get my screen to build here. And, and, and what we're going to look at today, this is kind of like a little build of the flow I'm going to go through, and it's kind of similar to what Ken talked about today, is that, you know, where does this data start? It's 2D and 3D in nature, and it's sitting somewhere in engineering, whether it's your engineering or if you're using outsourced engineering shop, you can still get this data and use it, but you need to integrate it into your enterprise, into SAP. So one of the ways we, we can do that is SAP has come to market with what is called the Engineering Control Center, which is a direct CAD integration application and tool set that will provide you the capability of working with any of your major MCAD tools 
take the uh, the 3D information in there, create that structure that the CAD model has inside of SAP and what SAP would call a document structure, so the document assembly of your CAD model, and store that uh, CAD information. But along with that CAD information, it's going to also at the same time you integrate it with what's called the SAP Visual Enterprise Generator. The generator will take that those CAD models, whether it's a Pro, Pro, Pro E Creo or uh, Unigraphics NX or, or you know a CATI or SolidWorks model, it'll take it and it'll create this structure and it'll extract from the CAD model and create a duplicate uh, lightweight visual uh, represent, representation of that, which is uh, the SAP Visual Enterprise tool uh, and it's a .rh file. And what it then does is, it, uh, because it understands that structure, so between these arrows right here, it will then take and append this newly created right hemisphere and tie it right to the same document uh, that is owning and holding the piece parts are the assemblies from your CAD model. So here, all of a sudden, you have a very rich, full, robust document structure defining your CAD model, and then also internally, inside of SAP, you will also have a lightweight visual enterprise RH file. There's the key because now this lightweight visual enterprise model can then be pushed out and can be consumed by the rest of the enterprise, whether it's in a, a, hot, a inventory model, analytics model like Ken was showing, or it, if you're going to use it working in a manufacturing planning mode where you take and restructure that engineered uh, information into a manufacturable M-bomb, manufacturing bomb from it. So this next build is, hey, I've now taken the CAD information and using ECTR, as Ken said earlier, you can take this CAD information, create the document structure, so you have a document kind of builds on the left, and then after you have your visual enterprise uh, uh, creation of that, you can then create the material masters in SAP and your um, um, your engineering bill of material in SAP in the Engineering Control Center, the ECTR. The next part will be, okay, now that you have this engineering bill of material, let's plan it. So how can I take the, the visual, the very visual CAD information that's been, uh, been, been generated into RH and use it in a tool, and that tool is SAP's Visual Manufacturing Planner to take the, the engineered data and now restructured into a manufacturing bill of material and then also with this tool directly tied into the routing so not only can you create your manufacturing bill of material but you can then also create your routings from this all in one fell swoop in this tool and be, be able to see this information pivot visually inside the tool go into a classic SAP views of looking at some of the information whether it's a bomb in SAP or the routing in SAP in a very traditional sense, you have this capability as well. Uh, the other part is I'm talking a lot about M-bombs here. Let's not forget about service bombs and service kits. Same thing will apply. From engineering, you're gonna, you can pull the, the, uh, the kit information from your engineer at part and add it into your manufacturing kit, your service kit. And the other thing the tool will also then provide you, lastly, is the ability to go out and, and uh, add in, uh, shall we say, consumables or non-engineered uh, non -engineered design, shall we say, uh, information in CAD. So in other words, if you have, as Ken mentioned earlier, grease, paint, etc., that information can also be added and managed and manipulated with the Visual Manufacturing Planner.